Okay, what we're going to do today is I'm going to show off my Unity a little. Um, I've already um, talked a little bit about how you can change the number of desktops in Ubuntu using my Unity. And my Unity has a lot of other features as well. Um, and I just want to give a little intro what you can do with my Unity. So my Unity is um, installed um, rather easily uh, using the Ubuntu Software Center. Um, simply look for my Unity and install it. Um, and when you're done installing, just sort it via the dash as always. Um, and this is what you'll see. Um, so you got these tabs up here, um, telling you, you know, what the options are in regard to. Um, the first one is the launcher. So what can you do with my Unity regarding the launcher? The first thing you can do is um, change the color of the launcher if you want to whatever you want. You can um, enter a hex code or RGB values, um, change the saturation and stuff, uh, pick a color and it will change the color of the Unity launcher. Um, um, as of Ubuntu 12.04, the launcher takes up the color of the background image. So, for one, the background image um, expands all the way under the launcher, and the color of um, of the launcher and the dash button up here will adapt to the color of the background image. So, um, but if you still want to have a different color in your launcher, like this pink or whatever, um, blue or green, you can do that. You can also um, change the transparency, um, making it a little more opaque or or not. Um, um, you can also change the size um, of the launcher. A lot of these options have now been integrated into Ubuntu 12.04. Um, if you go to settings and appearance um, a lot of these options have been taken up so you can also change the launcher icon size here um, change the um, theme and the, the colors and stuff and behavior of the dog of the launcher um, the good thing is that the icon size here they kind of communicate so if you change the icon size here um, it'll automatically change it here as well so that you don't kind of mess up the system. Um, that's a good thing. Um, a nice option I think is that you can um, have an option regarding the backlights which um, by default is that the backlights, uh, backlights of every icon are on. Let me just um, change no you can see it that way so as you see the um around the the image of the application this is colored space which by default is on if you say you only want to have it on on the icons that are active you can see that like thunderbird and google chrome the color is still there but all the other applications that aren't um active um are see-through now you can also turn it off um, completely, or only have it on the edges, which will give you a little, you know, like a frame. Um, yeah, you can also, um, what I find interesting, show devices if you have a uh, USB drive connected. You can also, um, the default option is that you, it's only in the launcher when it's act uh, when it's mounted you can also say that you don't want it in the launcher at all or that you always want it in the launcher even if it's not um, um, not mounted um, and um, then you have a option that, that you know um, by default the launcher is um, always seen here it's fixed but you can also have it hidden by default, which b can also be um, 
configured via the Ubuntu settings. Um, the good thing is that you can always go back to the default settings, which what I find very good. Um, every tab has its own default settings. So if you change something in a panel and something um, regarding the dash and something regarding the launcher and you kind of mess up the launcher, you can just um, go back to the default settings, which will only affect your launcher settings. So now it's all back to default, but only the launcher settings. Um, that's very good, I think. Um, yeah, you can go to the dash tab here. Um, which, you know, um, when you look for something in the dash, you'll also have, and by default, you'll also have um, um, available that are uh, apps that are available for download, shown, and also recent apps and, um, and stuff. And you can configure that here. Um, the panel up here can be made more transparent which um, you know, makes it a little see-through, like um, like the dash. Um, you can also... Yeah, I've shown off the desktop tab here already once when talking about um, the um, number of desktops you want uh, when you use Ubuntu. Um, this can be configured here vertically and horizontal number of desktops by these two sliders. Um, yeah, a show home icon um, puts a little home icon here to your desktop. Networking puts networking icon there. The trash icon can be put there, which doesn't show up. Okay. Um, you can have a sh oh no it shows up okay um, it's kind of oh okay I'm sorry uh, a devices um, icon didn't show up so um, the trash icon you can also devices icon is probably when you connect a USB drive or something um, by default it only shows up here if it's mounted um, in earlier Ubuntu editions you had it on the desktop. Um, uh, you can turn it back on. The active um, show desktop icon can be added to the dash, which is, um, you know, what former Windows users maybe miss, that you can show the desktop. Um, panel menus have icons. Doesn't really, I don't know what that is right now. Um, so this can be turned on. Um, useful for those who like it. Um, the most interesting is the show desktop icon. Um, you can also change the overall look of Ubuntu, um, change the fonts, change um, the themes. There are a lot of themes here that come with my Unity. Um, change the icons, uh, everything basically. Configure it to your liking. There are also a lot of um, quick tutorials for some cool looks um, on the web and well the last tab is just the credits so this was a little introduction to my unity be sure to subscribe to my channel watch the other videos check out my blog um, yeah my unity is I think a really great tool um, to configure Ubuntu the way you like it without having to use the terminal um, a lot. Thanks for watching.